Chris. Oh, I gotta go. They're calling me in. Oh, okay, honey, good luck. I love you. Love, 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 love. Let's do it. They want you close to the falls. Really? I'm gonna get soaked. That's the point. They want you to put this on. Part of the condition of us getting the exclusive. Uh -huh. You know what? Nothing can bother me today. Nothing. Okay, now remember, it's their 156-year anniversary, mm -hmm. 149 capacity. Right. They cater to tourists, honeymooners. And people who are insanely thirsty. I get it. Okay. And you are going to be interviewing Irene Dansfield. Irene, pleasure to meet you. Truly. You. You, you look beautiful. Irene's mother wrote on a maiden voyage. Wow, rub that in my oh, face, why don't you? 90 seconds! 90 seconds, holy hell. Uh, yeah, okay. 90 seconds? Whew. But because of the fast response, the toxic chemicals were cleaned up without incident. Susan? Bruce Nolan is standing by at Niagara Falls, but before we go live to Bruce, we have an announcement to make. As everyone knows, after 33 years, our beloved Pete Feynman is retiring. Pete's shoes are virtually impossible to fill, but the show must go on. And we could think of no one better than our very own Evan Baxter. Oh, oh boy. Congratulations, Evan. Thanks, Susan. I'm thrilled and honored. And as you said, no one can replace the great Pete Feynman. But I will do my best. I have to say, I am so proud to be a part of our local community of Buffalo. And I think, in a lot of ways, a great city is like a great recipe, really. You take hardworking citizens, add some caregivers, maybe a few nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All sprinkled with the love and support of our good families. And ultimately, that makes one sweet place to live. That was amazing. Well, I meant it. I wish I'd written something. And now let's go live to that wacky Bruce Nolan out at Niagara Falls. Hey, wacky Bruce! Bruce? Talk, Bruce. Hello? Talk, honey. Talk. What's going on? We got a Walt Disney. It's frozen solid. They may not have audio. Check the feed. We may be having a bit of technical difficulty. Feeds good, Jack. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Talk, Bruce, damn it. All right, get ready to pull the plug. Oh, come on, baby, say something, say something. Bruce, talk. Hi, Susan. Oh, thank you, God. Bruce Nolan here, aboard the Maid of the Mist in fabulous Niagara right. Falls, New York. First off, let me just add another congratulations to Evan Backstabber. Pardon me, Baxter. Baxter, rather. It is good to see what someone with real talent can do when great opportunities are given to them instead of me. <laughs> anyway, I'm here with Katherine Hepburn's mom. Tell me, why did you throw the blue heart of the ocean jewel over the railing of the Titanic? Did you feel bad at all letting Leo DiCaprio drown while you were safe floating on the big door? Could you have taken turns? Or were you just too afraid to freeze your big fat ass off? Hmm. I guess that's how life is, isn't it? Some people are drenched, freezing to death on a stupid boat with a stupid hat, while others are in a comfy news studio, sucking up all the glory. Oh well, no big deal. Oh look, it's the owner of the Maid of the Mist. Let's have a talk with him, shall we? Come on in here, Bill. No, 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 come on, let's have a talk. Come on, what are you doing? Bill, you've been running the Maid of the Mist for 23 years now. Tell me, why do you think I didn't get the anchor job? Hey man, I don't want any problems. I don't want... Is it my hair, Bill? Are my teeth not white enough? Or like the Great Falls is the bedrock of my life, eroding beneath me. Eroding, eroding, eroding. Hi. Cut the feet, put them black, put them black. Come on in. <laughs> I'm Bruce Nolan for Eyewitness News. Back to you, fuckers.